I would not really like to comment on the individual instance because you know uh, it is still under investigations and uh, various agencies are working on it. But having said that, uh, I would actually uh, would like to speak about some generic or larger issue on this. Now if you look at this incident and to the extent uh, what we have understood and it is reported, two things come out very clearly. One is uh, there are cases of individual indiscretion. Okay. Yes. Now, indiscretion, whether it is on account of a performance pressure or it is on account of something else, mm. time would tell. Mm. The second thing, uh, this is one instance, there had been a couple of other instances recently mm. reported, you know, about some kind of transactions which are really not meeting the norms. Mm. But uh, these cases are detected by the institution's internal system. Mm. Yes, first, and then they went on reporting. Yes. Now, what it indicates that while there are systems are in place, but by the time you report, there is a substantial lag, and that is exactly what you are also pointing out. So, this brings us to the point that there has to be a better system of surveillance which is more real time. And incidentally, actually, just uh, say a fortnight back, I was addressing an international conference, and I did mention the very same thing that the KYC AML, uh, there, there seems to be some complacency. There has to be more alertness. Moreover, uh, the, the system as it is, particularly in case of public sector banks, to expect that everything can be accomplished at the branch level mm -hmm. would be an unrealistic expectation. So there has to be a central surveillance system uh, which is using the technology much more efficiently mm -hmm. and which can track the events on a real-time basis. Okay. Now, but, but let me, but there are some issues which are even larger than this. This is a specific issue. And those larger issues, uh, if there are vacuums, either at the board level, which is required to set the direction, or at the CEO level, or the missing middle problem, if there is a gap in any of these, there can be manifestation. Mm -hmm. And if gap is cumulatively at all the three places at the same time, I think uh, uh, we, we need to uh, think much more comprehensively on that. Okay. Uh, is RBI already investigating this case as well? Uh, I think agencies are already investigating. Our people uh, are, are also, uh, you know, we don't want to start too many parallel things, but uh, we are keeping a close track over whatever is happening. Uh, have you alerted other banks or are you starting a surveillance on other banks on account of the one discovered at BOB? Uh, from the information which has come till now, there are obvious linkages. So I think we would need to uh, uh, look at the wider uh, ramifications of this. Yeah, uh, the, uh, we uh, interviewed the uh, uh, BOB uh, top official and he said uh, a lot of money, 90% came from the RTGS system from public sector banks, foreign banks, private banks and cooperative banks. So uh, is RBI investigating? I did see banks? the, the flesh uh, yes. <laughs> coming on your channel just before I came here. Yes, there are linkages and you know in the, in the financial system obviously the, the money would be flowing from uh, one channel to the other channel or one place or institution or other. I think we, we would need to look into the comprehensively on this. Okay. Uh, what is the fear here? that uh, uh, bank officials are becoming complicit or is it that uh, bank is suffering a loss or is it that banking system is getting used as a conduit for money laundering? Uh, I think the, of course, third is the biggest fear mm -hmm. because uh, that is something, you know, mm -hmm. uh, the, the regulators around the globe mm -hmm. are deeply concerned about it. First, what you mentioned mm -hmm. is, is, you know, third is possible because of the uh, I won't say always complacency, but I did mention no, that yes. those three vacuums. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there had been. It was about complacency. Been a, Somebody who's complicit, actually uh, corrupt. Uh, this is what I'm telling. You know, it would be uh, the time alone would tell. Mm -hmm. uh, if you remember what yes. I said in the beginning, whether it was a pressure which kind of thing or it was otherwise motive. Mm -hmm. But the very essence, there can be complacency, there can even be lack of skill set. Mm -hmm. There was a missing model, there had been an acceleration, elevation of the yeah, people, whether much. people were grounded enough to understand these kind of things. So I think there are a host of issues around it. Okay. As far as middle part, the, the second question which you mm. put out of the set of three, second is immaterial. Okay. I mean to say whether it is a gain of 10 crore or loss of 15 crore in the whole scheme of things. 
it is just immaterial. All right, you can catch that entire conversation on Indianomics through the week only on CNBC TV 18.